considerable weight. Let's see what the sides have in store for us on this occasion. Monaco up against Paris Saint-Germain. The sparks tend to fly, and the action is live for you next on EA TV. Well, it's always a great pleasure to be here in the Côte d'Azur region. We find ourselves in Monaco with football action on the menu. I'm your match commentator, Derek Ray, at the microphone. And sitting alongside me is the former Arsenal, West Ham and Coventry midfield player, Stuart Robson. And the focus is on live action from Ligue 1. It's Monaco against Paris Saint-Germain. Thanks, Derek. Well, both managers will be reminding their players of starting the game quickly pinning the opposition back, playing the ball forward and regaining possession as quickly as possible. Hopefully we get a really good game here. And let's have a look at the Monaco starting lineup. Well, for a while, everybody played with a 4-4-2 and it can still be a very good system but it does rely very much on your front two getting the better of their markers and the wide midfield players being good in 1v1 situations. Let's hope they play it well today. Introducing the Paris Saint-Germain starters. Gianluigi Donnarumma begins in goal. Marquinhos plays with Sergio Ramos at the back. Carlos Soler plays alongside Marco Verratti in the engine room. And finally, the forwards, Neymar plays with Lionel Messi. is underway Enrique Ganavine Camara promising attack this timely intervention Hakimi, Neymar waiting to take it on. They've got it now, what can they do? This looks threatening. That's really good and effective physical play. Well, PSG have hit the heights in the goal-scoring department, Stuart. Fantastic record. Well, their build-up play away from home has been brilliant. They get the ball into the front players with quality. They get midfield players making runs beyond the strikers. And the full-backs are always... Oh, they could finish here, Stuart. Oh, a goal. And an own goal at that. Well, not part of the script, was it? Well, as you can see, it came off him last. And as a result, it will be an own goal. So unfortunate. And back underway, 1-0 it is. Plenty of support here. And below. That is how to put in a challenge. He's been a bit unlucky to concede the corner. Who's going to get on the end of it? And he's clear as lines. Has a go. Oh, he saved it well.
and he's fired over the corner oh it comes to nothing in the end really should have made more of that Fabian Verassi now Pereira attacking possibilities for PSG and credit is due for that good piece of defending pretty simple for the keeper Diasa Ben Yedder Golovin still trailing but they're upping the pressure can they stop it going in and it's in all square again what a match this is turning out to be well here's the replay watch how he goes past his man with such ease and it's just a change of pace but the finish is so easy he's given far too much time and space he doesn't even have to jump Poor defending, you have to say. So underway again, following the goal that made things level. Verratti. Ferreira. Happy to pass the ball, but remaining patient. What a shocking pass, really. Vitor Ferreira. Mensch. Ferreira. Akimi. Neymar waiting to take it on. So it's going to be a goal kick here. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. And that'll be Monaco's throw-in. Neymar. Lionel Messi in the middle. Well, no danger now. Messi. Just couldn't capitalise there. And the counter-attack is on. Options available. Well, it fizzled out. No foul. PSG advantage. And Neymar! Diasa. And intercepts again. Fabian. Neymar waiting to pass. He's gone and found the net. Brilliant piece of finishing. Magnificent goal. Well, here's the replay, and what a well delivered cross this is. Perfectly placed. And just look at that strike. He opens up his body and makes a really clean contact with the ball. A great finish. Well, as they kick off again, 2-1, the current state of affairs. Ben Yedder. And the challenge halts them in their tracks. And Neymar. Well, it could be on for him here. Verratti! And the goal it is. The keeper really not part of the equation.
Well, just look at the defending here. They've made it so easy for him in the end. That's just not good enough. Four goals in this match now. 3-1 it is. And space to attack. And let's give credit to the defending. Neymar. And he's broken free. Now the conclusion, he's missed the opportunity. Camara oh, couldn't quite find his teammate. Ferreira. Two minutes of stoppage time coming up. Throw in here for Monaco. Can he get onto this? Just cleared away in the nick of time. And that will be it for the first half. The referee blowing his whistle and positivity for PSG supporters at the break, Stuart. Well, we said before the game what a brilliant side they are going forward and they've proved that in the first half. Their combination play all over the pitch has been really good. It's been a top display so far. Exciting game, potential. Well, the ball is rolling again, and no getting away from it. PSG very much bossing it in the first 45. Soler. Spot on with that tackle. They're certainly allowing their opponents to come on to them. Opportunity to deliver the cross. But it wasn't a taxing save. Soler, Vitor Ferreira, Hakimi, Lionel Messi in the middle. Well, he wasn't messing around with the clearance. And PSG pushing forward with options available. And fine work from Monaco to win the ball back. Embolo. Well, PSG have controlled most of the possession, as you can see, and have used it really well today, particularly in the midfield areas. And I expect more of the same as the game goes on. Galavin. Oh, fancy footwork. Big chance. A goal as they cut into their advantage. Still plenty of life in this match. Well, here's the replay. Watch how he goes past his man with such ease, and it's just a change of pace. And there's certainly no doubt about the finish. He really hits it with power and accuracy. Nothing the keeper can do about that. PSG are going to switch things around on the personnel front. 
And the ball is moving again. 3-2. Now we're into the final half hour. Messi, Neymar waiting to pounce. But if truth be told, he made it rather straightforward for the keeper. Well, he knows it. That is a real waste of a great opportunity. Braille Embolo. Ben Yedder. Oh, he's gone for goal. And the keeper was up to the task. Well, they've decided to make a change. Well, just listen to the crowd. They know this is a big chance to equalise. Favouring the short one. Dallavine. He must finish! And searching for his second, but the keeper equal to the task. Well, he's looking really lively, isn't he? Every time he gets the ball, he looks a threat. Well, opting for the short corner. Very quick thinking there. Breaking at pace. They might be able to get in now. It was an excellent example of how to break at pace. Well, that's counter-attacking football at its best. They switch on so quickly when they win the ball back. It deserved a goal. Holland. Oh, managing to beat him. Oh, could be. Oh, a goal. Level now. The lead has evaporated. Well, here it is again. He goes past his marker so easily with just a drop of the shoulder and his movement so clever. Once he gets onto it, there's only one thought in his head. Smash it as hard as possible. What a good goal. They've restarted the game, and it's three apiece. Messi. PSG looking dangerous. Lionel Messi. Oh, and a penalty has been awarded. Big moment here. Can they get themselves ahead? Well, some might say he's been fortunate to avoid being shown the card. Well, I like that from the referee. Just because it's a penalty doesn't mean it's a yellow card. I think he's got it right. Now, to restore their lead here. In it goes! A well-taken penalty! Well, here it is again, and just watch the keeper. He stands still, hoping it's hit down the middle. Unfortunately for him, he's got it wrong. Well, a dramatic moment near the end, and that might well be the decider. Camara. A foul, but advantage played. He's got the right idea with that pass. Strong play as he keeps the ball in anticipation of support arriving. Ben Yedder. Far from a good pass. And no margin for error. What a genuine opportunity, but it was squandered. Goal kick.
Marquinhos. Here is Juan Bernat. Now well, we're inside the final 10 minutes in this one. Now to take it away. Verratti. Attacking possibilities for PSG. Can he convert? Terrific block. Ben Yedder. Well, on the attack, hunting for... Oh, really good reflexes and danger averted. Well, this might be their final opportunity to draw level. Substitution it is for PSG. Can he deliver it with accuracy? No real challenge for the goalkeeper. Hakimi. Moving forward effectively. This could finish it. Well, the keeper is happy. The bar was there. Making sure nothing came of it. Well, the electronic board lets the fans know. Three minutes of stoppage time. Opportunity. In it goes. And I'll tell you what, the goalkeeper is wishing quite simply he hadn't done that. Well, here we can see it again, and it doesn't get any better, does it? That's just sloppy from the goalkeeper. That's a terrible goal to give away. Not the scoreline we see all that often. 5-3. And that will do it for this game anyway, and it goes into the history books as a victory for Paris Saint-Germain. What did you think of their performance? Well, we talked about their ability to score goals at the top of the game, and once again they delivered. For me, they're always looking for the most dangerous pass, which is a great example to teams that keep possession for the sake of it. I think they're a joy to watch at the moment.